Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a weekly vlog. So I am starting this vlog in a bit of a different location. I'm sat in my lounge. Um, I normally do... Sorry, I'm, I'm out of breath. I've just been tidying up after filming. So I'm a little bit... Ugh, after going up and down the stairs. But yeah, I've been filming in here. Um, and I'm going to spend the afternoon editing in here. But I just had a bit of a headache. So I popped these blue light glass on. But I'll take them off for now. And put them back on when I'm on my laptop. It's Tuesday today. Tuesday the 26th of April. And I have a really, really fun day planned tomorrow with the girls. So I'll take you along with me for that. But... Um, I thought I would just start the vlog today, give it a little bit of an introduction and I've been sort of telling myself that I'm going to do this for a while but I just haven't, like I wanted to share anything before now but I thought I would just give you a bit of a life update to kind of introduce this vlog. I didn't sleep very well at all last night so I'm not feeling great today. I'm going to try and drink lots of water and hopefully that will help. How cute are these glasses by the way? They're from Firm and they match my carafe. Quite small though so it's good to have the carafe because i end up needing to fill up these glasses literally every like half an hour um but anyway yes life update so you may have sort of noticed maybe even on, on instagram that i haven't really been myself i've been a bit better recently a bit more consistent but um about sort of a month ago i was very kind of down i took some time off i was very inconsistent um, just a bit all over the place basically um, and I didn't really want to talk about it over on Instagram because I don't really feel like I share that part of my life very much over there but I'm a little bit more open on YouTube um, obviously a bit more chatty and a bit more conversational and I just like to share a little bit more I feel comfortable sharing more but yeah just want to say quickly thank you to everybody that sent me a nice message when I have been a little bit miserable over on Instagram because it is so lovely to get a message from someone that I don't know saying hope you're okay or sending you love like it's just such a nice thing to do so thank you so much to anyone who has done that over the last kind of couple of months so the reason for me being down um, kind of started about six weeks ago and my grandmother unfortunately passed away. I have spoken on YouTube especially about how I looked after her. She was 93, she had dementia and she lived with us and because obviously I'm self-employed, I work from home, I looked after her every day for the last 18 months and prior to that I cooked for her every single day and would take her her food um, every lunchtime. So I did that for about a year before she moved in permanently in I think August or no it was a bit later than that, October 2020. She lived with us through the first lockdown then went back to her flat and then got poorly so moved in with us uh, permanently where I was able to be here all the time because she couldn't be left alone um so it was kind of a very testing thing for me to go through um i'm so so glad that i did it so i'm trying to film this without getting upset um <laughs> never thought i would be that person that um cries on the internet so i'm not gonna do it right come on pull yourself together uh yeah i'm so pleased that i was able to look after her and literally spend every day with her for the last 18 months of her life because i know a lot of people don't get that luxury especially from my mum as well because it was her mum it was so nice for us three together to have that time because we've always been so close so i'm very very grateful for that and like i said she lived till she was 93 um she had a fantastic life and she was extremely dignified in the end and very peaceful and not in any pain and we take a lot of comfort in knowing that it's always always difficult when someone passes it doesn't make things any easier but it is comforting to know that we were by her side and so was maple and she didn't need any pain medication or anything and she just went in her sleep which is everyone always says it's the best way to go so yeah obviously my life has changed quite a lot because i did sort of give up a lot of things to stay here and look after her which I think most people probably didn't realize because I never really spoke about it much especially online yeah because she couldn't be left alone I, I was here a lot of the time we did have some amazing amazing carers 
that would come and, and sit with her and look after her so I could sort of go out for the afternoon and they were incredible I don't know how they do that job it's so difficult they made her very comfortable and gave her some amazing memories in her last few months so grateful to them and hats off to anyone that does that job I know I couldn't do it I know I looked after my grandma but she was my grandma you know so it was a bit different but yeah anyway kind of a big change in routine for me um feels very lonely in this house now um not having people coming in and out all the time not having my grandma shouting at me all day long but on the other hand it gives me a chance to kind of focus um all my effort into to work and also having a little bit of fun now as well it's not like i was chained to the house and i had no fun for two years i did um but now it's a little less restricted and it doesn't have to be planned a month in advance so yeah that was kind of a big lifestyle change for me and difficult to adjust to had some other bits and bobs going on um so i won't talk, talk too much about this because i find it a little bit cringe but um I am no longer in a relationship as well that has ended so kind of contributes to the massive changes that I am going through right now but I'm okay in that respect don't need any sympathy so please don't worry about me definitely the right thing to do and that's all I'll say on that but yeah I just felt that I kind of wanted to talk about this apologies if you didn't want to hear it um, I don't want to, want to make anyone miserable or bring up any bad memories or anything for anyone but I just quite like to be open and honest and I thought that it would be good to maybe share some more personal information about me I don't know if that's a good thing always on the internet but you guys get to know me a little bit better and that's the explanation for maybe if things have been a bit off in the last few videos or I haven't seemed myself that is the reason why there is this kind of culture at the moment you know everyone only shows the best bits of their life and um I was trying, don't get me wrong, I was trying to do that, but that it gets to a point where you, you can't really pretend anymore. So I felt like I owed you an explanation. Sorry if you didn't want to hear it, but I didn't say this for any sympathy or anything. I know there are lots of horrendous things going on in the world and lots of people that are far worse off than I am. It was just a little update, basically. Another update I have for you. It's not really an update, actually. It's the opposite of an update. It's a very, very stagnant process. Um, but I am trying to move out, which is difficult. I still live at home, um, which I didn't really want to be doing at this age. But when you are self-employed and single and looking to buy and not rent, it's very, very difficult. So I've sort of come to the decision if I have to spend a few more months at home and save for... A larger deposit um, then that is what I will have to do. I'm literally on right move every day talking to people, talking to estate agents, talking to banks, talking to lenders, trying to make something happen but I don't see the point in me moving out just to rent. We'll see if I say that in six months time but I live at home rent free very very luckily and I work from home so I don't need to be anywhere for work we'll see you never know what could happen but anyway yeah that process is still ongoing if anyone has any tips i mean i know that's a very broad thing to say but if you have any tips on buying your first home alone self-employed i fear right now that it's kind of impossible but anyway that is my life update i realize that now i've been rambling for 10 minutes um so i'm gonna stop before this whole vlog is just me sat here waffling i am now going to make myself some lunch i'm trying to eat a little bit healthier but because i didn't sleep very well and i feel a bit oof today that is the technical term by the way oof. Um, i'm actually going to make myself some poached eggs on toast because uh, i really fancy it and i haven't done it in ages so that is the plan now i'm then going to edit all the content that i shot earlier and i think i'm going to do it from the sofa because why not Hello everyone, sorry about the poor lighting, very very miserable today, it's such a shame because it said that it was going to be sunny on the weather forecast for the whole week but it's actually looking really quite cloudy and it's quite cold as well so I mentioned yesterday that I am going to London today, I'm meeting uh, my lovely friends for bit of like a shopping day we're gonna grab lunch and then probably dinner as well 
um, and I might make a special purchase. There's been something that I've been after. Well, if I bought it, then it'll be in the title of this vlog, but I'm, I, yeah, I may, I may not, I don't know yet. I'm just getting myself ready now. It's quite early, it's only 22.10, and my train isn't until half past 12 or like 20 past 12, but I'm getting myself ready now because I really don't know what I'm going to wear. So I feel like I need a bit of time to go through my wardrobe because you know it's coming up to may now it's the end of august the 27th today um end of august end of april 27th of april today and i really don't want to be wearing like wintry clothes like, i don't want to be wearing jumpers i want to be wearing lighter neutral colors but also it's cold um which is such a shame the last time i went to london to meet the girls it was literally raining all day and it was such a nightmare, like trying to get taxis and cabs and stuff in the rain. Um, so at least it's not going to rain today, but it does look very cloudy and very miserable. So I'm just putting on this Typology foundation, which I'm obsessed with. Well, I think it's foundational. It might be more like a tinted moisturiser, but it's such a perfect colour, a really nice kind of light layer for your skin in the spring, summertime kind of looks like you've got nothing on but it still gives a really nice bit of coverage very natural because normally i don't really wear foundation in the spring summer i normally just wear a tinted moisturizer this kind of coverage is great i do have saying that you'll probably be able to see a little blemish here and one on my cheek as well which i never get i do sometimes get hormonal breakouts kind of around my mouth and on my chin but I can't remember the last time I had a spot on my cheek. Um, so I'm not sure what's happened there. I originally thought it was like some kind of bite or something from being outside. I don't think it is. I think it's a spot because when it first came up, it was quite itchy. So I thought maybe it wasn't a blemish, but I think it is. So I might just pop a little bit of extra product around that area just to cover the spots up. A more high coverage foundation that I've been loving recently is this YSL one. It's the Touche Eclat. Um, and I wear it in shade B60 and I just find that if I pop a little bit on um, mixed with the typology it works really nicely as you can see it's a really similar colour so it works as like that extra bit of coverage around the bottom of my face and then just so it's more even I'll pop a bit on my forehead as well and I am probably be in London all day so I want this to last until the evening. So to make sure that happens, I've used my Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer, which is one of my favorite makeup products ever. I'm obsessed with it. It's such a good primer. Quite expensive, but definitely worth the money in my opinion. So anyway, I'm gonna speed this up, get myself ready, and then I will show you when I decide what I'm gonna wear. Here's my makeup done for the day. Um, I'll probably just have to touch it up a little bit before I leave. But now I'm gonna do my hair. I had a shower this morning, so it's all wet. But I'm in a bit of a tricky situation because I'm heading out. I've only mentioned about 10 billion times. I want to walk Maple just before I go so she's nice and sort of tired um, before she's left alone for a couple of hours won't be for long and then my mum will be home from work but I just want to make sure that she sleeps whilst I'm out so I don't know whether to take her for a walk and then come back and just quickly do my hair or whether to do it now and then just sort of touch it up after I've walked her because it's it's going to fall out a little bit after I've taken her for a walk and I can't really go for a walk with my rollers in I mean I could but I don't really want to um so I'm going to sort of rough dry it now and then, thing is, I want to walk her as late as possible. And then I don't know if I'll have enough time to sort of start from scratch on my hair. God, that's really going in my mouth. Um, yeah, start from scratch on my hair when I get back from walking her. This is just the Lee Stafford heat protection spray, by the way. I use so much. So I think what I'll do is I'll do my hair now and then I'll just have to touch it up quickly after I've walked her. 
and hopefully it will stay in. But I mean, it'll probably fall out as soon as I get to London anyway, because I'll be walking around and normally the longer I'm outside, the more it drops. I have been finding that I have been able to get it to stay in a little bit better though recently by holding the curls for a bit longer in the heat. But I am gonna film an updated Dyson tutorial. I was just gonna do a reel, but I might do a YouTube video as well. So that'll come maybe within the next week or so. So I'll just do in like another time lapse of this and then I'll talk you guys through the routine in a bit more detail then. So I'm just about to leave for my train, but I thought I would quickly show you today's outfit. I've got my leather blazer on from Zara, which I haven't worn in ages, and just popped this All Saints um, sweater on around my shoulders, plain white tee underneath from Arquette. These straight leg jeans are from Naked, and then my Dunks, and I'll obviously take my Sac du Jour, um, but I'm actually running late already for my train. I don't know how this happened, um, so I better go. Everyone. I'm sat here in my my favorite spot and wow the sky is so bright oh it's making my eyes water I might have to move oh dear right that's a bit better pulled the curtain round but yeah I just wanted to check in and show you the purchases that I got yesterday um, I tried to film as much as I could but it was quite a busy day going from shop to shop um and restaurant to restaurant yeah very hard day's work um but i had the best time with the girls i was with holly isabella and milda i'll leave all their instagrams in the description box below so you can check them out as well um but yeah i kind of treated myself yesterday i've been after um all of the things that i got actually for quite a long time and I just thought, I'm gonna bite the bullet and just go for it. And I'm very glad that I did. I do always get kind of the fear after I spend um, like a bigger amount of money. I always feel like really guilty and think, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But I've been saving for these items literally, well, for, I've been saving for the item that I got from MS for literally like a year, just each month, just putting some money away. So that I didn't feel too bad about. And I have sold a lot of my wardrobe recently on Depop. Um, so yeah, I thought I would treat myself to some new things and I'm gonna show you them now. So first up we have Hermes, beautiful box. So we went to this store on New Bond Street um, and I obviously knew exactly what I wanted. I'd actually been with Holly a couple of months ago, I think in February to, get the exact same thing for her and I knew that I wanted to go back and get these for myself so if you haven't guessed already what they are they come in these little dust bags and I picked myself up a pair of the Oran sandals and I got the tan colour and I just adore these they are so perfect for summer I've had a couple of dupes I had a pair from Zara which I've sold and I had a pair from June which I've also sold but I just thought it was about time that I treated myself to the real thing and yeah I'm obsessed with them I just love the shape everybody has said that they rub quite a lot on the first wear but after that they're super comfy um, and in the store I actually tried on this colour and the black as well because I was really unsure but this colour just suited me a bit better I think and I have the brown Loewe basket bag and my brown Jacquemus bag as well so I just thought that these would come in a little bit more handy in the summer. They came up very true to size so I just got my normal size which is at 38 and yeah they fit beautifully and I'm very 
very excited to wear them. I can't wait for summer and warmer weather so I can get these out properly. I had a really pleasant experience as well in the um, Hermes store. I think when you're just buying smaller items, they're a little bit blase and they're quite nice to you. So one day, maybe it'll be a slightly bigger item, maybe a handbag, who knows? That is on my wish list for sure. And then I wasn't actually planning to, but we popped into Celine. This bloody olive tree. There we go. Um, yeah, we popped into Celine and there are a couple of things in there that I just wanted to kind of look at. Um, and yeah, you guessed it, I didn't just look at them, I actually ended up purchasing them. But I'm really pleased that I did because I was probably gonna get both of these items at some point anyway. And it's just really nice to do it in store and to be with your friends and have a glass of champagne and stuff. And the Celine store experience was really, really lovely. Um, the SA Mary was so nice there. So that just makes it a little bit nice. So it's just a bit better than ordering it online and just opening it yourself, I think. Um, so the first thing that I picked up from Celine is a pair of sunglasses. And these are the Triumph sunglasses with the motif on the side. Really nice kind of round shape. And I just adore these. I think they're so gorgeous. I obviously did just purchase the black YSL pair. Well, not just a few months ago now, but I feel like they're a very, very different shape. The YSL ones are very square and obviously these are nice and round. And then I picked up something else as well, which was kind of not spontaneous. Cause like I said, I knew I was gonna get it at some point, but um, I definitely wasn't planning on purchasing it. Even when I saw the sunglasses, I thought I'd just get the sunglasses. So I picked up this, this gorgeous gold hardware, and I just really loved the kind of matching element of the sunglasses and the belt. I have sold my Saint Laurent belt as well, so I thought that this would be a good replacement for it. I got the size 75, I think, and it fitted really nicely on my jeans. So I put it around my jeans, and I also put it like over my blazer, and there was still a little bit of room, so I thought I could definitely wear this over a coat in the winter. So yeah, that's the other item that I got from Celine and I'm very, very happy with both of those and really excited to wear them. Don't think I've actually ever purchased anything from Celine before. So it was really nice. I feel like all the pieces that I got are very wearable staple pieces that will stay in my wardrobe for a very, very long time. So those are my purchases that I picked up yesterday. I am definitely on a spending ban now. I am going to try and not purchase any clothes, shoes, bags, accessories, anything like that in the month of May. So we will see how long that lasts, but I feel like I definitely need a bit of a month off after that splurge yesterday, but it was such a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got up to. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, it would be amazing if you could give it a like, and if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed, and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.